Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's start with love. Let's see what's going on for love. All right. What are the love messages for Capricorn? All right. Somebody could be married. The Emperor, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right. So somebody could be married or in a relationship. Uh, somebody, this is their way or the highway. Okay. Uh, somebody's in and out also. Um, somebody doesn't let the grass grow under their feet. There is somebody that they like or they have a connection to or there's chemistry with they're not absolutely devoted to okay or they haven't promoted this person to girlfriend wife status here let's see yeah the six of cups this is somebody that um they have a fondness with or two um they they're fond to coming back to this person um, yeah seven of wands it could just be about sex right now or someone wants to keep it at that level yeah pay or was this nine of cups too yeah this is somebody that um you have a history with they, they show up they and you guys have a good time together and then they leave and then they show up and then you have a good time together and then they leave it's often known as hot and cold you guys have been doing this for a while there's a significant uh, level of history here um there could be children here involved either on your side or the other person's side or together there's a husband who just does whatever they want to do also yeah, the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There's somebody who have a lot of options. A lot of people that they're sleeping with or they want to sleep with or that they're pursuing. They're not serious about any of them. It could be an ego trip, an ego thing. This is to boost somebody's um, uh, maybe self-esteem. Three of Pentacles here. Somebody has somebody who's like a forever girlfriend or boyfriend here. Never really, again, promoted them to uh, the title of wife or never giving them stability it's always recreating oh we're coming back together it's always coming back together and okay picking up where we left off and then you leave again and then you come back and then we have to pick up where we're, so it's always recreating never getting to a level of stability wow as i say that the four of pentacles uh drops out somebody wants stability but somebody is not offering that with the seven of swords somebody has singular solo plans and they will leave you holding the bag and this relationship could be stuck and stagnant. Somebody won't let it grow beyond the four of pentacles. It's like somebody with the four of pentacles that could talk about possession. So it's like maybe someone is looking at you, Capricorn, or this is what you're doing as a possession. They take you off the shelf, play with you for a while, put you back on the shelf. You know, you, you belong to them. Also talks about access, you know, and being domineering. Somebody is forceful. They, um, maybe they're staying in your life by force. Maybe, and force could be just, you know, aggressive talk. Like, are you going to find anybody better? What about when I do this? What about when I did this and I did that? And, you know, it's just, it's really, um, you know, manipulative, forceful, stagnant. It could even be toxic at this point. There could be a time out right now between um, you Capricorn and a Piscean person, but it looks like um, you guys will come back together. Somebody is also, um, they're tired of being self-sacrificing or they, they feel like they have to sacrifice a lot to either be with you or you with them. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Career and finance for Capricorn. The high priestess. All right. So you could be working from home or you want to do something else. Um, you conflicted about making this decision to do something else here. Inner conflict. You don't know how to get started. Queen of Cups, but it says, listen to your intuition. You have something to offer the world here with the Queen of Cups. You have a very layered personality, you know. The King of Swords, yes, especially for my masculine and my feminine uh, Capricorns. It says that um, you just might need to go sit with an expert and talk about how you can maybe make this work, how you could shift into maybe um, self-employment or be more self-focused in terms of your uh, career your finances here 
yeah, two of wands and the six of swords. So it's like you want to move on into something um, that could be entrepreneurial. You're not sure if you if it's going to work. You're not sure if the grass is going to be greener on the other side with the two of wands and the six of swords. It says you might be waiting for some opportunity, some knee jerk opportunity. Um, it could come to you. It says that you found stability, financial stability between doing two different things. But there's going to come a time where one of these things uh, overpowers or yeah, overpowers the other. And you're going to have to make a decision about where you're going to put all your focus to. This could even be leaving like a toxic work environment. Yeah. And moving toward self-focused, self-directed, you know, maybe business entrepreneurial endeavor here. How you can make something a business. Yep. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, go over to the website and book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can come for the collective reading. You can ask questions also. Um, click the, su the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you can be uh, notified of when I am live. All right. So thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.